Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today we're discussing hydrophilic versus hydrophobic substances. Let's start broadly and break down the words. Hydro, as you may know, means water. Philic, or phil, means a strong attraction or affinity for something. A bibliophile is someone who loves books, and philanthropy literally means the love of humanity. Phobic, or phobia, on the other hand, means fear of. Common uses are arachnophobia, fear of spiders, and xanthophobia, fear of the color yellow. So hydrophobic means water-fearing or water-hating, while hydrophilic means water-loving. Now let's take a more scientific approach. Hydrophilic substances dissolve in water. These include ionic compounds like salts and polar molecules like alcohols. Most ingredients in any drink are hydrophilic and thus dissolve in water. This is because water is polar and hydrophilic substances break down to be surrounded by water. Hydrophobic substances, however, do not easily dissolve in water. In fact, they repel it. Oils and other fats, as well as nonpolar molecules, are hydrophobic. Have you ever seen waterproof fabrics? These use hydrophobic material. These concepts become very important when talking about the cell membrane, or phospholipid bilayer. This membrane has both hydrophobic and hydrophilic portions and allows our cells to function properly and safely. I'll make a separate video about uh, the awesomeness of the cell membrane and link it below. So that's pretty much it for hydrophilic and hydrophobic. If you have any additional questions, throw them in the comments and be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe so you don't miss any great content. I also want to give a quick shout out to Miss Maris and her channel. Uh, she's a student, like many of you, and her videos are truly a blessing. I'll put a link in the description, so check her out and give her channel some love. I'll catch you next time.